Next. Okay. We have a Bible to live by, the generation Y. We want freedom in everything that we do. Uh, freedom of choice to freedom of expression. Okay. Uh, we love to customize and personalize. Give me an iPhone or a new Satria car or whatever, you'll see a V6 injection engine with skirting with new spot rims. Okay. Give me an iPhone or a, a laptop computer, tomorrow you'll see your company logo becomes a new Ferrari car or some hot chick on the screensaver or something. Okay. We are scrutinizers and check people up online before we work or, uh, with or for them. Okay. Means uh, I can Google you up. Before I even go for your job interview, I Google you up and then say, okay, this CEO just had a affair outside with another prostitute. I will work for this guy. Okay? We look for, we want entertainment and play in our work, education and social life, mixing business with pleasure. Yes. Baby boomers, don't mix business with pleasure. Don't mix business with pleasure, baby boomers. Gen Y say, I want business with pleasure. I want Facebook on my desktop. I want YouTube on my desktop. If you don't have that on my workstation, I won't work for you. Cool? If you don't say cool, then you're not cool, basically, because you, you don't want Facebook and YouTube. Okay. We are a collaboration and relationship generation. Okay. Uh, if you don't allow me to explore more relationships through, uh, through this work, sorry to say I don't want to work with you because I'm a very connected person via Facebook. If you isolate me on a desk-bound job, good luck to your company. Okay. We are a generation of speed. I can Google a uh, proposal for you in a matter of seconds. What are you talking about? You need to three days to write a proposal, Mr. Baby Boomer. As a Gen Y, I give it to you in 16 seconds because there's a PDF document somewhere in Google, <laughs> which is exactly the proposal you want. Cool? Right. We are also innovators, okay? And after I've got that piece of document from Google, I'll just innovate and change a bit. Copy and paste, massage the words, and hand it up as an assignment. Right? Cool. Okay. Next. You guys still okay? Enjoying this? Learning some stuff? Identifying with some of these points? Learning some generation gap? And hopefully, you guys are connecting with the different generation. Don't judge people. Just understand they are like that because of the different era they are living in. Try and collaborate and understand and tolerate and compromise a bit to make the project happen or whatever. Okay, cool. Right, how many Malaysians are on Facebook right now? This is the interesting part. 16 million online. Malaysians. Okay, 27, is it? 28. 28, 28 Malaysians. How many Facebookers? That's right. 11 mil on Facebook. So if you want to win the next Malaysian general election, use Facebook. Cool? Right. Because 11 out of 28 million, you basically have 40% of the vote already. The rest, you ask your family to vote for you. Lah. Okay? <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. Uh, how do you get to the 12 million? Obviously, some of you already figured it out. It's, you go to advertising. And hopefully this, this uh, loads fast enough, okay? You go to advertising, okay? And you click create an advertisement. And um, how many of you actually seen this page and used this page before? I would expect none lah because uh, you, uh, unless you are really uh, tech savvy and really you're gonna invest uh, money into Facebook to do advertising, okay? Most people don't learn. Most people will just uh, use the social word of mouth to get the numbers. This thing is popping up because of the pictures. Okay. So it's not 9 million huh, because it's 18 years old and above. Huh. It's actually, actually go to any to any. Huh. You actually see about 11 million. Right here. See that? 11.8 actually is going to 12 million. I think we are growing at a rate of about 50,000 users each week jumping on Facebook from Malaysia. I think so. That's our rate, I think, at this point. So by the end of this year, I think we may have 13 million or something. By the end of next year, I think 20 million or 28 million population will be there already. Okay? And it's slowly like the baby boomers are coming in already. It's like, oh, we cannot ignore this Facebook thing, even though it's so uncool for us. But it's cool for the Gen Y. We have to be in. we got to monitor our kids who they are talking to online. And we have to control them. Okay? <laughs> right. Okay. 
Cool. Well, so many things. Okay. Okay. Uh, for those who know who is the guy in this picture, just uh, shut up. For those who don't know, uh, okay, I'm just going to ask, how many of you honestly don't know who the heck is this guy? Okay, it's okay. Doesn't matter. Okay, uh, Miss, what's your name? Lydia. Okay, what do you think of this picture of this guy? Right. Do you think he has money? Why do you think so? You feel he has money. Okay, under normal circumstances, people will say he, is, he doesn't have money because he wears slippers. He's the founder of Facebook. He's worth 50 billion bucks. His name is Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, you may want to jot this down, his name. Huh? Remember this. He's like the next Steve Jobs, lah, people say. It. Okay, since Steve Jobs is no more around, then uh, we have a new one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right. So what are the demographics? So remember, this is a generation Y, lah. our hero, guys. Our hero, Gen Y, the classic Gen Y who has billions of dollars. Don't look down on Gen Y. La. For the baby boomers, I'm not going to point fingers. You guys know who you are. Don't point on Gen Y and say, hey, you guys are useless. Come on, this guy wears slippers to work 50 billion bucks, can buy anything he wants on planet Earth. So wearing slippers and wearing jeans, you guys are not getting the joke, jeans. It's OK. OK? Right, because uh, you don't know how much uh, money I have, right? So I don't. I'm not gonna let you know, obviously. <laughs> so, <laughs> right. So, uh, slippers, t-shirt. No. But he wears Adidas, lah. So, that's standard. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Okay. So, uh, what are the demographics? Uh, I think 50-50 male, female kind of thing uh, uh, in in Facebook. How does it relate to social media marketing? Obviously, Facebook is the biggest social media around, lah. If you haven't noticed, uh, then you're living in a jungle or something. Okay. So uh, we have, how big is Facebook? So we have uh, like 800 million. I, I want to show you something more interesting. Uh, very interesting one. You guys want to know or not? Yes. Okay. So you guys can go home because you guys can say yes. I'm just going to focus on the same. Okay. <laughs> right. Um, how many of you heard of this name called Lee Kashing? Lee, Lee Kasing, huh? How many of you heard of this name? Cool. Baby Boomer or Gen Y or Gen X, this, this guy? Oh. Baby Boomer. Baby huh? Okay, Baby Boomer. You guys say one, huh? You sure, huh? You all check the facts before, what not? Your Gen Y should go Google first. Don't simply answer me first. Okay? Are you? Crunch Base is taking a great break. Are you? I wanted to show you guys this. It's not a joke, huh? It's just the uh, website down, huh? Okay? <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. Uh, never mind. It's okay. Cool. It's cool. Uh, I don't know what to do at, at this point. I think I'm unresourceful now. So. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. So this is my type six now. Okay. Li Kasheng. Okay. Invested about sixty million plus sixty million in Facebook. A baby boomer investing hundred and twenty million bucks into Facebook. Okay, uh, Microsoft owns about I think about three percent of it, using a quarter billion investment, two hundred fifty million. Okay, all right, cool. It's okay, I'm on type six. I have it covered. Okay, uh, still okay, guys. Uh, a bit quiet. Can you give me back some energy? Yes, cool. Yes. Yeah, cool. So, um, next slide. Uh, where was where was I? So when we talk about social media, how many of you heard of this word called social media? So, social media, this one, social media. Okay, uh, uh, this word actually really come very become very famous only in the past two years, I think, or three years max in Malaysia lah. In US, it's like a big name already, right? Okay, so social media. There's actually four kinds of social media. It's platforms to allow for, a media to allow for two-way interaction. That's, that's how I define it, simple. That's why it's called Web 2.0, okay? 2.0, it means two-way communication. Uh, Web 2.0 era begin, began at 2004. Prior to that was Web 1.0, where you have only those web pages you can read, only you cannot even post your comment one. 
So there's two error. We are, we are entering into 3.0 and 4.0, but I don't define all those things because it's going to confuse you guys, uh, you guys even more. So uh, we have social networks like Facebook, Friendster, MySpace, Twitter, and even YouTube is actually a social network. Remember that. Don't think it's only a video sharing site. It's actually also a social network because you can log in with a username and password uh, to do uh, um, what you call uh, set up your profile and everything. Okay? Forums. Uh, uh, you guys have heard of Lawiat? Okay, definitely. Okay, I'm Malaysians. Uh, forums is where you can post your information or your opinion and let other people answer you back. Okay? Blogs. Uh, Basically, you post something, and people can comment back on your post as you are the expert. They see you as an expert, as the owner of the blog, right? They can post back comments towards you so that they can uh, exchange opinions on your uh, article or whatever on your blog, okay? Wikis uh, basically is a place where, like, if you have a project team from Thailand, Singapore, US, UK, everybody can log in and edit that one same project document. That's what I'm saying, right? Pretty much, you guys have a mahjong paper now. Everybody can edit the piece of project document. So it's online mahjong paper. It's easier for you to understand that way from a Malaysian standpoint. Okay, cool. Right. Um, so that is social media. 